Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Why am I out of breath every time I try to film an intro? But yeah, today's video is going to be a little different because I'm actually going to be talking about my hair. Um, I recently had black hair and most people don't actually know like what my hair really looked like because I always wear extensions and stuff like that. But this video is going to show you how I went from black hair to this, which is usually really hard to do, especially in one session. It's going to cost a lot of money, things like that. It can be very damaging. There's just a lot of questions that I was wondering before I did it, my, did, got my hair done. And that's why I wanted to make this video so I can show people what happened, what it was like, and all that stuff. First of all, I will show you pictures of me before I got my hair done. Um, let me see. No, nothing, like that's my hair. It looks wet and it actually it had a bunch of oil in it. I was trying to like prepare it, <laughs> which probably wasn't the best idea. I probably shouldn't have done that, but yeah. Um, I did not color my hair for three months before I went in and got my hair done. So my roots had grown out tremendously and my roots were very light and ashy. Um, and I just didn't like it. So I didn't want to have black roots like I was doing, but I did go for a darker brown. What we did first was washed my hair and used the Pravana hair color remover kit. Um, yeah, we've actually used that before in my hair. I used to have bright red hair and we used that when I wanted the red to be gone and I wanted purple hair. So it works really well. So we decided to do it a second time. She was like, let's do it again. After the second time, we got myself to this, which is crazy. Super light. It was almost an auburn red color, but also kind of orangey. Not gonna lie, I actually really liked that hair color. For a second, I was like, ooh, maybe we should do something like this instead. And then I was like, no, Kaylee, just do what you came here to do. Like, don't confuse yourself. Next up, what we did was we put the balayage in. She hand painted my whole head and um, the bleach that we used, let me see what she said it was. She balayaged with free lights and it didn't work very well. Like after we had taken off the balayage film, it was like really patchy and I looked like a calico cat, not kidding. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be so bad. This is gonna look horrible. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm regretting every decision I just made. And she was like, just stay calm. Like a good hairstylist can always fix everything. We'll get there, we'll get there. So she was like, okay, obviously this isn't working. So instead what we did was we went in with Wella Blondor Lightener and that definitely did a lot. And instead of just like hand painting it on, I mean, she still kind of did that, but she didn't really balayage it. She just like pretty much bleached my whole head, except for we stayed away from my roots. Um, any new growth I had, we stayed away from because we weren't sure if we were going to color those darker, what I was gonna do yet. So we kind of left my roots alone. So we just did like the bottom of my hair. And after doing one bleaching session, we got to this and sorry these are all like snapchat pictures but i'll also insert some pictures as well oh yeah we got to that so it was definitely a lot lighter even she was like i cannot believe how blonde your hair is right now and that's when i decided i was like i cannot deal with these light roots like i didn't realize how light my roots were until we had done the rest of my hair like bleached the rest of my hair and blow dried it and i was like my roots almost are blonde like i don't like that i want them darker so after that we went in and did my roots with a darker shade, which we should have done first, but we didn't know what we were gonna do. Um, and on my roots, she used the Wella 5 slash O, and then we toned the blonde with Wella 9 slash O1 and 7 O equal parts. She said, these are, these are all just, yeah. Now what sucked was since we went in with my root color, at the wrong time, we actually had to bleach the bottom of my hair again because some brown got in there. And that actually kind of like really damaged my hair a little bit, not gonna lie. Like my ends feel really dry. Um, not too terrible. I feel like with conditioning and oil and all that stuff that I'm gonna get back to where I was. This kind of thing usually takes multiple sessions. She actually came in on her day off to do my hair and I kid you not, it took seven hours 
seven hours of sitting in that chair. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I just wanted to take you along with me from going black to blonde, just in case you had any questions about it or what they do, how damaging it is, all that stuff. It'll all be in this, in the clips and yeah. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you like this better, if you like the black better, I really don't know. I have um, like half and half from people. People keep telling me it looks really good. And then I have other people telling me like, oh my God, black looks so good on you. The only thing I don't like about this now is I don't feel as intense and dramatic. Like I feel very natural. And I also feel like I look younger, which I hate because I already look like I'm 18 and I'm 25 and people never believe me as it is and now I feel like I look even younger um, but what can you do I'm sure I will appreciate it when I am 40 and I look 30 but yeah let me know what you liked better dark or this or if I should even do a different color I don't know I don't know I like it though for now Alright guys, so I am on my way to get my hair done. I am going to try to go a little bit of a light brown slash blonde, like a balayage, bala, balayage, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. My hair is not greasy right now, it's not wet either, it's literally just like, I put a ton of coconut oil in it last night to hopefully like, just give it some softness before going in and basically killing my hair. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, I have been coloring my hair basically black for two years now. I think it's been two years. So it's definitely gonna take some work. I'm scared it's gonna turn orange. My cousin said I might not even like it the first couple times that I get it done. Um, but actually she said she's pretty confident that we can get me pretty light because we're gonna use color remover. Um, she said probably like three times. Um, <clears throat> I go to a place called, I think it's Sola. Sola Swan, it's in Fishers off of like 116th and commercial like by Target if you live in this area. Um, my cousin's name is Audrey Howerton and her salon is called Audrey's Hair Studio and she's freaking amazing. She is the only person that I will ever let touch my hair, ever. She does exactly what I want and she's just so good at what she does. But yeah, the only thing I'm really afraid of is having to cut any hair off. Like I really don't want to have to cut anything off. It's finally at a length that I like. Um, I just realized I forgot my hair extensions. I have to go back home after I get gas because I seriously don't even know if I'm gonna make it to the gas station. I just want something different. I wanna change. I want her to try to match the color um, of extensions that I bought, which is probably very unlikely, but it would be awesome if we could get my hair that like exact color. Oh, that would be so amazing because I hate not being able to wear hair extensions. Like, My hair is finally a length that I'm happy with but it's still thin, like I just need some thickness. So even just like a weft or two in there, just to give it a little something something, especially if I like French braid my hair or anything like that. So hopefully we can get them to match my hair extensions, but I'll show you them once I go back home. And I'm just gonna take you along through this process and see how it goes. And it could go terrible, we don't know. So let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. I'm taking Cora to Grandma's house. Grandma's gonna watch her while Mommy gets her hair done. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Say bye. Yeah. Hold on to me. ass freaking car oh my god so embarrassing all right so this is kind of what I want to go for so I have these like balayage extensions here I actually bought these off Amazon so as you can see that's very light compared to this like this is like the color of my hair now and then that's the color I want on the bottom so I'm hoping we can get to this but I really really don't know like I'm, I'm so scared I just don't want to have orange hair but it's very possible so yeah definitely trying to go for something like this just thought I'd show you these I'm bringing them just so I can give her some reference but yeah and these are the brand uh, I guess that's where they're from but yeah I found them on Amazon 
I think they were like $80, so not too bad. Uh, yeah, all right then. Okay, this is before. I just washed my hair. All right, so we got the hair color removal in. And now we have to sit under the dryer for 20 minutes. And I look great. This is what it looks like after one color removal. We're we doing one more. Mm -hmm. Orange. Bleach after. So we think we're gonna leave my roots alone and just let them be their normal color and then just go blonde ish everywhere else. We don't really know what color this is gonna turn out like, honestly. Right now it's like orange. <laughs> going in with round two of bleach because it didn't work the first time. just got home and I took my hat off. This is my hair now. Um, I did put the extensions in. The extensions ended up matching perfectly. Hold on, I'm gonna set this down for a minute, but yeah. The extensions ended up matching perfectly. It's actually insane how well it worked out because we didn't even like purposely try to match them to my hair like I wanted it to but I didn't have like high hopes and <laughs> I think it's cute and I like it it's just different I just have to get used to it it's kind of scary um, to think about not having black hair anymore when I had it for two years but I'm just amazed that we got me to this color um, when I had black hair so it's pretty awesome and it can happen so have faith but yeah I'm not used to this this is weird but I will list everything that she used on my hair what we did if you're trying to go black to blonde it's possible yeah I'm not fucking super blonde like that would take forever um, very damaging but but this is what I wanted so I'm happy <laughs> <laughs> 